Hey there, and welcome to module 4.2, the post engagement capture tool. Now this is a very amazing feature, perhaps one of my favorites. It's actually allowing you to attach any flow to a Facebook fan page post. Meaning that once a person comments or reacts to a comment on your fan page post, you can actually have your page privately reply to that person. You can then follow up with specific flows you want, uh, immediately generating email leads, anything else you want, it's all possible through the post engagement capture tool. Of course, in this specific example, we are going to use the lead magnet we have been using throughout this entire series. We are going to create a specific post, attach it to the ask for email address flow, and I'm going to give you a small little demo. So without further ado, let's hop in right away. And just like that, you're inside the Clever Messenger app again. And in this little video, you're going to discover how to set up a post engagement widget, which actually allows you to send a message to anyone who comments or replies to a Facebook fan page post. And all you need to do in order to start the process is simply click on the cog wheel again, and then go to dashboard. And right here on the left, we have a little magnet icon that says capture. Once we click on it, we simply go to the post engagement feature by clicking on post engagement right here. And this takes us to the post engagement library. Now you can set up unlimited post engagement widgets right here in this section and creating a new one is quite easy. All you need to do is clicking on create new right here. Give it a name. Let's name it post engagement number one and click on confirm. This redirects you to the post engagement builder. And right here on the right side, we can see that it already loads all the posts we have uh, set up on our Facebook page. And on the left side right here, we can see the settings we can set up for this specific post engagement widget. Now let's move on to Facebook really quick. There we go. Uh, this is the Facebook page we have been using throughout this training. And it's this post right here that I'm going to use for this particular setup. And as you can see, this post actually says we gathered 309 valuable chatbot insights and statistics wanted. And basically a short little five second clip uh, showing the uh, guide uh, to them. Now the goal right here is that we want to send a message to anyone who comments or replies to this specific post. Now right here, there's two things I can do. I can actually select this thing right here where it says catch all posts. Uh, with this selected, everything actually grays out and every post on my Facebook page will actually be governed by the settings I put in right here. However, I do want to keep things simple and I do not want to apply each and every setting right here. I set up right here in the, on the left to each and every post. So I'm going to simply uh, click on it again. This deselects the entire selection. And right now I'm simply going to select the post I want to set up for this widget. And this is this post. There we go. And uh, you can see how easy that actually is. You simply click on the post you want to use. Uh, it gets highlighted with a green bar showing that it actually um, is selected. Now, if I want to apply it to an additional post, I can. I can simply click that as well. And uh, that post will also be governed by the settings I set up right here on the left. However, we are going to keep things simple and we are going to keep this one as the selected one. Moving on to the left, we're now currently in the settings tab. And now we're going to simply go over each and every option. What we can do is basically enable the uh, private reply to go out only to the first level commenters only. Um, as you know, uh, on a Facebook fan page post thread, people can actually reply to another comment. Uh, these replies we call nested comments. And this option right here, once enabled, actually allows you to um, only send the private reply to go out to the people who are first level commenters. However, for this specific training, we are going to leave this disabled. Uh, moving on to the next one right here. Send the same message to the same user only once per post. Now, this is something you can choose to uh, enable. Basically, only sending the private reply once to each and every user. So no matter how many times they actually comment, they only will receive that private reply one time. However, for this specific setup, I'm going to leave it at disabled. Now, what I can do right here, I can also require a post reaction, either like, love, haha, whoa, sad, or angry. 
basically a filter you can set up uh, where you can require a post reaction from the people that are actually going to uh, reply to your fan page post. And as I hover over right here, um, right here over the question mark, requiring a post reaction means that additionally to comments, your page visitor needs to add a reaction to your selected post before they get your specified reply. It's a pretty neat feature, but again, in this specific setup, we're going to leave it as is. Right here in this section, we can actually specify to exclude comments with the keywords we put in to this field right here. Let's say um, that we want to exclude anyone to receive a private reply that mentions the word red. There we go. Again, that was just an example. I'm going to leave it wide open. And right here, we can actually specify a, a trigger to only send the private reply to that specific user if they use a specific keyword. Again, let's use red. Uh, once they have red in their comment, inside their comment, then only the private reply will be sent to them. However, again, for this specific setup, we're not going to do anything right here. So this short section right here in this training was basically to explain to you what is actually possible with the post engagement widget, but we want to keep it very, very simple. So with that in mind, we actually don't have to do anything right here in the settings. Basically, if you want to limit things though for uh, your specific widget, you can actually do that by using these uh, settings as you see fit. However, in this training, in this entire training, we want to keep things very, very simple. So we are going to leave everything as is right here. Right now, I'm just going to navigate to the submitted tab right there. And this is where I can actually specify my private reply that goes out after someone engages with the post. Then right here, I can actually specify it to go out immediately in seconds, minutes or hours. Uh, for this specific purpose, we're going to leave it at immediately. And we obviously want to send a flow, which is basically the lead capture flow. And we are going to specify that from the dropdown right here. And we want to ask for the email address. There we go. So in this field right here, we are going to ask them, how bad do you want the guide? There we go. Top it off with a cool emoji right there. And after they reply to this specific question, that uh, flow we specified right here will be sent out to them. Now, that's all there is to it in order to set up this post engagement widget. Uh, do know that there is one final thing. By default, we actually already uh, enable all the settings right here. Now, in the case you want to temporarily pause uh, this uh, specific post engagement widget, you can. Uh, all you need to do is basically toggle uh, this thing right there and replies are temporarily activated until you actually activate it again. Now we want to have them activated obviously for this demonstration. Right now I'm going to click on save. There we go. And go to post engagement right there. And let me just show you how cool this is once I go back to Facebook. Now, obviously, because I'm an admin on this page, I need to view this page as a visitor. And there's one more thing I need to do right here. And that's basically commenting on this post. Awesome. Cool. Give me. So this can be anything. There we go. And boom. Awesome stuff, right? So there we have that initial reply um, where it says, how bad do you want the guide? Man. I just really want it right now. There we go. Sends the message, sends that ask for email address flow where we can actually specify our email. Uh, once we did, we actually send it over to our autoresponder active campaign where we actually deliver the uh, guide, the report to their email inbox as well. And once they actually click on yes, please send right here uh, they also receive the guide uh, inside messenger right here very very cool stuff awesome right and that actually concludes uh, this specific video about the post engagement feature